the most incredible abandoned vehicles and technologies. History has many fantastic stories of inventions that make us gape when we read them, such as a ship that can function on water and land. Crazy, right? Well, relax, there's more. The world is vast and full of incredible treasures that were discovered or built in the past. While some of these treasures passed the tests and made it to the top list of being useful, some failed, and their usage came to a standstill, thus creating only a memorable history for the future. During World War II, many troops were concerned for their safety. Because of this, they used the available tools they had on the ground to build vehicles that they felt would protect and keep them safe from all harm. However, years later, many of those vehicles were abandoned because they failed to serve the purpose they were created for. From the rusting hulks of Soviet-era tanks left to rot in the middle of a forest to the decaying ghost town where the only signs of life are the wind whistling through the empty streets and the creaking of the old wooden buildings, here's the tale of the most incredible abandoned vehicles and technology. Number 9. Sea Devil K-278 Komsomolets The Soviet Navy had several submarines referred to as Sea Devils, but one of the most well-known examples is the K-278 Komsomolets. This nuclear-powered attack submarine was capable of combat maneuvering from start to finish. But what do they say about bad things happening to good people? Well, K-278 wasn't a person in this case, but it sure had its share of woes. April 7, 1989, a fire broke out on board the submarine at a depth of around 1,000 meters, causing the crew to abandon the vessel. The submarine sank to the bottom of the Norwegian Sea and remained there. Unfortunately, 42 of the 69 crew members died, some from the fire and some drowning. Number 8. Vesico During the war, many technologies came to play, but while some remained useful after the war, others were extinct. Vesico was known as the only surviving submarine of the Finnish Navy. It was originally built in 1933 as a training submarine for the Finnish Navy, but was later converted for combat use. As a sleek and stealthy submarine, Vesico's compact design gives it the quick maneuvering power. It makes less noise because its diesel-electric propulsion system provides efficient and quiet operation. What makes this vehicle more unique is the vessel's hull, which is reinforced with durable steel making it a formidable opponent in battle. During World War II, Vesico was used to patrol the Gulf of Finland and the Archipelago Sea. To its best use, the ship was never involved in combat nor sank any ships. In 1970, the submarine was decommissioned and later turned into a museum ship in 1973. If you take a walk to Suminlina Maritime Forest in Helsinki, Finland, you'll see Vesico on display. Number 7. Agro Humans have always wanted to make work easier and faster in the agricultural sector. And so, in 1930, a group of people known as the Soviet Union came together to manufacture agricultural tractors to improve efficiency and increase productivity in Soviet collective farms. These Soviet agro tractors were known for their durability and ease of maintenance, which made them popular among farmers. They were also exported to other countries, particularly Eastern Europe and Asia. Within a few years of usage, the Soviet government heavily promoted the use of agro-tractors, declaring them masterpieces that powered the many successes recorded by the Soviet industries. But not all that glitters is gold because in the 1950s, the production of Soviet agro-tractors ended, the vehicles were abandoned, and newer models were developed and introduced to the market. Number 6. The Giant Bomber Kalinin K7 You may think that only ugly-looking vehicles were abandoned, but this right here will blow your mind away. Looking at the vehicle in this video, you'd wonder why it was abandoned because it looks beautiful and like a good-to-go work tool. Designed by Andrei Tupolev and his team at the TSAGI Central Aerodynamic Institute, the Kalanin K7 had a wingspan of over 30 meters and two rows of four eight engines that powered it. Kalanin K-7 was a large experimental flying boat intended to be used for long-range bombing and reconnaissance missions. This was truly a remarkable feat in the engineering world. But beauty and style aren't all there is to a good vehicle. The performance also matters. Kalanin K-7 first flew on 2 June 1929, showing signs of instability and vibration, which was caused by the airframe of the engine's frequency. These signs of danger didn't just happen. They killed up to 15 people. Due to these technical issues and accidents, the usage of Kalanin K7 was unsuccessful and the program was cancelled in 1933. 
Number 5. LCT-7074 A ship that can function on water and land? Wow, what technology! The LCT-7074 was a landing craft tank used by the U.S. Navy during World War II that was not just built for water but also for land. With the crafty designs, this vehicle could transport tanks and other heavy equipment from ships to shore during assaults. The LCT-7074 wasn't just one, it was built in large numbers, with more than 1,000 constructed during the war. It had a crew of 12 and can carry up to four tanks or other vehicles along with a small number of troops. Aside from the capacity, it was powered by two diesel engines, which gave it a top speed of around 9 knots. LCT-7074 was used a bit more then. From World War II to the Normandy invasion and the Battle of Okinawa, the vehicle made victory very easy. It was also used as a supply and transport vessel and a repair and maintenance ship. However, the LCT-7074 lost its glory in 1947 and was decommissioned after the war. Many were sold to civilian buyers. Number 4. Mir The Mir was a space station that operated in low Earth orbit from 1986 to 2001. First, it was assembled in orbit by the Soviet Union and was the first modular space station to be constructed. In under 10 years, Mir set several endurance records for human occupation of space, including the longest continuous human occupation of space. Cosmonauts and astronauts from many countries occupied this vehicle and it was often visited by various spacecraft, including NASA's Space Shuttle. Following years of service and several near-death experiences, the vehicle station was intentionally deorbited and burned up in the Earth's atmosphere in 2001. Number 3. Forgotten Grumman Track Maglev I know that magnets can lift stainless and steel objects, but never have I seen it lift a whole vehicle. Just as I'm surprised, I know you are too. The Grumman Track Maglev, developed by the Grumman Corporation in 1970, is a high-speed, ground-based transportation system that uses magnetic levitation technology to lift and propel vehicles. The vehicle system had superconducting magnets that made it easy to levitate the vehicle above a guideway and linear motors to propel it forward. This magnetic prowess also eliminated the need for wheels to reduce friction, allowing for very high speeds. While testing in a 2.4-kilometer test track in California, the developers discovered that this supermodel could reach speeds up to 311 miles per hour. Just as some good inventions don't make it to the top list, the Grumman Track Maglev was never commercialized because the developers didn't consider making the rail longer. As it stands abandoned, there are speculations that they may commercialize it soon. But till then, let's stay focused on the usable ones. Number 2. Object 760 Developing the heavy tank Object 760 during the Cold War was an ambitious blueprint in the history of the Soviet Union. Object 760 was designed to be a heavy breakthrough tank with a main armament of a 130mm S-70 naval gun. It was also known as the T-10M and the T-10M1 and directly responded to the US M103 heavy tank. Being fully equipped with advanced features such as hydropneumatic suspension system and a multi-fuel diesel engine added to its remarkable features for being land-based combat-worthy. This super multitasker was also able to move smoothly on snowy terrains. Unlike a typical military vehicle, the Object 760 didn't carry any weapon, and the Soviet Union was not ready to add that either. No one knows why the Soviet Union scrapped it and moved on, but according to reports, the Soviet Union decided to focus on developing the T-64 tank instead. The prototype of Object 760 is currently on display at the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia. Number 1. The Unique and Stylish Chrysler TV-8 As cars were built with smaller and more fuel-efficient engines in the past time, one would have likely thought that the Chrysler TV-8 was built on a modified Chrysler 300M platform and featured a V8 engine would have so much going on for it, but that wasn't the case here. The Chrysler TV-8 also known as the Chrysler Thunderbolt, was a concept car developed by Chrysler in the early 2000s. The car was first shown at the 2000 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, and was designed to showcase new technologies and design elements that the company was considering for future production vehicles. The TV8 featured a slick, aerodynamic design with a long hood, short deck, and a low-slung profile with the engine paired with an advanced all-wheel drive system, a heads-up display that projected important information, such as speed and navigation instructions on the windshield, allowing the driver to keep their eyes on the road, driver assist systems, 
Such features were too extraordinary for a car of that time. Despite its impressive design, the Chrysler TV8 tech-savvy car didn't breathe through the ice to survive. The concept car was only shown at auto shows and events, but its technologies and design elements were never implemented in a production vehicle. The only good thing about it is that it helped the company to showcase its technological capabilities and design expertise.